Hello and welcome back to my German Empire Hat Sign 3 World War 1 Let's Play. Now, obviously the last few episodes ago, we obviously dealt with Russia and just sort of organising our HQs and new home guards and stuff like that. We're sending the 3rd Army all the way around to North, North Africa to deal with this French rebellion that suddenly sprung up from nowhere. We're probably going to deal with the Moroccans as well. Um, and we were also preparing for the invasion of Britain. We also got an army coming up through Scandinavia and it's going to be conquering everyone. So that's always good. You know, we're dealing with these areas fairly quickly, it doesn't take long. I just want to get them off the map. We're going to attack Finland, there's no doubt about that. I mean, Scandinavia is quite an awkward place to attack, but, you know, we'll have to deal with it. Right, so, let us get some armoured units in the ships and at the ready to invade. Now, I've done this wrong. I should have actually got the marines to invade first. How long will it take for them to get over there? Not too long. Yeah, because I, I don't... I'd rather attack with, with marines first and secure a port, basically. Artillery we're wasting. Right, so... Let's get started, I think. As soon as they arrive, we're good to go. We've just got to wait, haven't we? That's the only trouble. Um, so we'll get... Getting rid of some of this. And, um, yeah, I think... Is it arrived yet? So I've just, like, had to go, and go downstairs because my mum's arrived. And she always ends up coming into my room. Like, right, fucking hell, I'm wasting them quite a bit. Like that. God. And that should be it. I've got some IC as well that I can apparently put down. So put it in Hanover. There's a lot of IC. Oh, shit. Um, is that it? I think that's it. We've got like a whole army there, pretty much, which is good. Um, and they've nearly arrived now. I wonder how the, the campaign in, in Scandinavia is going. I wonder if Britain knows we're going to invade. Who knows? Right. Because the good thing about Marines is you can attack ports with it. And as soon as you get a port, that's it, you're in. Do we attack through Dover or do we attack through Portsmouth? If we attack through Portsmouth, there's actually a port, there's actually Bournemouth next to it. But there's always def there's going to be some troops there. Should we see if we can attack. I'll have to slow it down a bit. Should we see if we can attack Dover? See, they've already gone out there, haven't they? Let's join the battle. We can patrol, hopefully. I want you to. Go over there and attack. We've lost a few ships, but that means that we're gonna have, have damaged units, damaged ships. Which isn't what I want. Uh, right, you're gonna actually return because we're gonna get underway. God, we are killing quite a lot. Um, Right, what is the shortcut to? It's L. So if I just do that. And then we invade. That should do it. Hopefully. Oh god, it's in full speed. It's not really what I wanted. The Ottomans have conquered them. How are we like destroying so many ships? Like seriously. Like, we haven't lost a single ship yet, we've destroyed loads, we're about to lose that, we've just lost one. Oh dear. However, it doesn't matter, we've only lost one. And we've taken Dover. Which is good. Right, you need to return. Rebase. You're gonna spread out there, and we're just gonna secure the area. That's all we need to do, guys. We don't need to... Go full out. And how's the Scandinavian campaign doing? It's going good, we can probably... Get rid of that. And get rid of that now. Because we're storming them anyway, so it's good. 
it's all good. We've got a good sort of home guard going on as well. That's pretty sound. Uh, the third army is in Egypt, which is good as well. Russia's just exploded. USA still owns this, which is quite strange. I like the USA colour, I must admit. Shit, we own this. Did not know that. Did not know that at all. Right, that's good. So, Britain, you will fall either this episode or the next, and you will be in deep shit, pretty much. I don't know if just their island, like, if we conquer all of this, I don't know if it's actually just enough. Or not, or if we need to take something else. We'll have to take, like, Malta or something like that. Which is a bit of a, an annoyance, but you can't have everything. Right, we'll just spam units now. Because we just want you to get across. So, transport. Shit, why the fuck, why have they left London open? And taken London. Why would they leave? Why have they left London open? I don't know. That's a big mistake. Britain. Why would you leave your capital open for the taking? Transport them across. We've enforced a puppet on. On Ned. We've taken London. As if. How have we taken London? Like, seriously. I thought they'd actually give us a fight, Britain. We've just invaded, like, the shores of your country and you just don't really give a shit, do you? Strange people, the British. Strange people, indeed. I'm joking, of course. We are quite strange as a, as a people, I guess. I mean, because we do stuff a lot differently to everywhere else, because we just don't give a fuck. You can attack there, you're gonna... We're gonna slow it down. I'm gonna have it on constant, so... We'll have a constant flow of action. I'm going to attack, going to horrible Luton, which is a fucking shit all of a, of a place. We're getting a tap there, but that's fine. You can carry on going, just get up there, go up there, just, just get up. The Kaiser would be very proud if I managed to take IRL, that is. He'd be jizzing in his pants if, if he actually managed to like invade Britain successfully, like Christ almighty. Go around there, you can follow. You're just going to go and take Norwich and Fetford. This is way too easy, I don't like this. Why is it so easy? The British just aren't doing anything. Go on then, and then you can just go in Lords instead. So I've got this army to deploy, but it's not really needed at the moment. We've, ne we've nearly taken Stockholm, for God's sake. We've taken Oslo. Are we moving up? No. Okay, I think I might have to take control of that once we've taken out Britain. We're slowly getting across there. Why are you going backwards? Why are you going down there? Why? Why have you done this? <laughs> the Italians just got fucking destroyed. Oh well. Stupid Italians. Right. We've conquered Sweden. So where are they going to go now? I don't know. We'll, we'll leave them. We'll leave them for now. They're not exactly that needed. We'll get our thing on Britain. We're going to conquer Britain completely. Uh, we're actually 50%, so yeah, we're definitely going to do this. You can go down there and just take that and then come back up. You're going to go up there, go up there, go up there. If my mum comes in, by the way, because I don't know if she heard me say that I was recording or not, then just ignore it, it's fine. You can go up there, you're going to go into that province. Attack, 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 attack. I'm quite brutal with this, so just send them everywhere. Snake out. Like a big snake. Like a big slivery snake. There you can go. And then as soon as you've all got into your positions, we'll have another pause. We'll regroup. 
and we'll realign. So there we go. Pretty much in position. We actually need some infantry down here, I think. So you're going to just go down there. So you're going to stop attacking because you'll lose. And you might get pushed back, which is not what we want. Um, you bloody nazis. Get up there. Get down here. Get over there. Attack. 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 I mean, it's a bit of a shame about Germany. Like, their whole history has just been blighted by Hitler, basically. I mean, the German Empire was effectively like what Britain was. It just, it was expansionist. Apart from we didn't do it by, like, invading actual major powers. We invaded little poor countries that, you know, couldn't really defend themselves. So I do respect Germany on that level. Let's be honest. The new capital of Britain is Liverpool, where the Beatles are from. Now, I might, when it gets very close, which it actually, as soon as we take Liverpool, it is, I'm going to slow it down, otherwise it'll do like a big pause, and then I think it's crashed, and they'll all go tits up. You're just going to go and straight out attack Liverpool, then. We're wasting some research industry, apparently. Like so. We're about to take Liverpool. Probably shouldn't actually zoom out, because... It's got to have a lot more to protest, uh, protest, process then, hasn't it? Come on. You should be dead, Britain. And you're about to die right about now. Okay, maybe not. Yes. Give it a chance to, to load. Yep. There we are. Thank you. Thank you for the show, Britain. You've, you, you did well. You did well. Wow, look on the map. Christ. Right, so now we've actually got some decisions to do. We can. Right, so let's read this. The French and the British delegates met with the Kaiser in a public display to sign a declar declaration of unconditional surrender to the Central Powers. The mighty British Navy was almost completely spent and overstretched. The German U-boats had slipped and detected through British sea lanes and wrecked havoc on vital supply shipments to the British mainland. After a, after a successful summer offensive and the collapse of the Western Front for the Allies, Brit Iron, I've just realised there's a spelling mistake there, was left defenceless and faced no other option than capitulation. Capitulation. So we could puppet the UK and then the Dubai region the Ottomans get. We could inherit its colonies only. Uh, and so what happens in this Dubai region goes to the Ottomans. Uh, we'll start guaranteeing United Kingdom. United Kingdom gains 100% neutrality. Uh, Austria Hungary will be a non aggression pact. We'll be in a non aggression pact. We'll be in a non aggression pact. Uh, da, 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 da. And United Kingdom will get the fall of the British Empire. Or we can inherit colonies and puppet. Why can't we just conquer? Like, why can't we just keep everything that we've got now? That's realistically what I want. I'm going to be perfectly frank. Can't seem to do it though, can we? Um, well, I think the best option is to in puppet and see what happens there. Ah, have we managed to keep it all? Good God, look at this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously, Af Afghan and all these nations up here would wreak havoc and probably take over most of my, my settlements and provinces, shall I say. Uh, but look, Austria-Hungary has like, fully annexed everyone. We've annexed everyone apart from the Netherlands for some reason. Um, pretty good. We've got some national decisions. The government changes to fascist republic. Why would I want that? I don't know. Oh, God. Well, there we are. Um, Christ almighty, we have really, like, destroyed everyone, haven't we? Now, the thing is, what do I do now? Because, well... Look at Bulgaria getting Greece at Lucky Sods. It's a nice holiday place for them. Um, I could do... What I could do... 
is obviously with the third army going over there to wipe out France again. Uh, that's fine. I do obviously need some kind of um, army in the UK if I was going to keep it. Look, I mean, what's my IC like? Does it is it going to go up? It should go up. Um, yeah, four. So my total IC is four hundred and seventy-five. I'm such a like a tank. I'm a fucking tank. Yeah, it pretty much is the same colour, actually. It is the same colour. Um, so we'll have a good look at this. Look at us destroying Britain. How good is this? Just wipe them out. So we own all of their colonies, effectively. Um, now, America... Uh, I mean, I know a few people actually want me to go on, continue and actually take out America as well. Which I could possibly do. Obviously, that's probably going to take another, like, ten episodes minimum. It's going to take quite a long time. I want to take out Spain if I'm going to continue as well. Uh, God, what do I do? Right. Let's get this sorted out so I know where I am. Got supplies there, that's fine. You can go excess. Num yep, 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 yep. Um, okay. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to release some nations as puppets. We're going to release... Why do they get... They shouldn't get all the colonies, though. But they're going to do, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay with that. I mean, I know a lot of people might complain about this, but the thing is, if I, like, keep hold of everything, the amount of uprisings and everything, I'm going to have to have an army, a full army in the UK, I'm going to have to have armies, like all over Africa, in India, everywhere, and it, it's just not going to work. However, I, what I do like is like, how did, when you release Britain, the spawn of a shitload of armies, don't they? Which is nice. Um, so Britain's here now, and I don't know if they get a navy, I don't think they do get a navy. Right, well, let's get this army down to Portsmouth, and we'll get it back across the channel, back to, to uh, good old the mainland Europe, and we're going to invade the Iberian Peninsula, conquer that, uh, is there any other nations that we might as well get rid of, that, you know, they're not, uh, not get rid of, but um, release, you know, let's get rid of, let's release Iceland, I always like to see Iceland, it's just something what I tend to do, because um, I mean, that's, it's just wasteland up there, it's, it's nothing. Um, I think I might keep everything else. I like having all this. And I'm going to have this as well. I've got a lot of French Africa. Can I even release France? No. I think it's because they're actually a nation. Aren't they? They've been born. Well, there we are. I mean, I didn't expect Britain to fall quite so easily. I think once I get my army across, back across the pond, even Brazil's giving me a military access, I'm that powerful. Uh, I think once I get my army back across the pond, we'll think about um, ending the episode. Yep, yeah, we'll give Britain lend lease, because why not? I'm not going to give you it. Okay, Portugal. Thank you for all this. It's very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Why? Okay, whatever. Um, right, let's get these across. It's gonna like be a few few shipments across, isn't it? But it doesn't take long, does it? And I think we'll start building a navy as well. Although, actually, what I want to be doing, don't I, is um, getting convoys and escorts because Britain's navy is not going to be destroying me now, so it should be able to cope. Let's have a complete rethink. We'll have to do a restrat, won't we? Uh, so the second army is going to go back into AI mode. It's going to go on. It's going to go on prepare stance, and we're going to give it some targets down here. Uh, Madrid, of course. Although we'll just set it there. It'll go across, it'll spread across the whole border. Actually, that's fine. Our two navies can head back over to Kiel 
I'm wasting a shit ton of IC as well for that one. And I think if I'm going to give my IC to anyone, it's going to be Britain. Sorry, Austria. Um, right, so let's go through everything because we need to recuperate and reorganize. America, they're going to be definitely like drifting towards us pretty fast. Um, obviously, I'm going to declare war on them anyway, so it's fine, eventually. We've got quite a few nations here. I think I will, in fact, release the omens. And that's it, because we might as well have them there as a little pocket. Um, so that's diplomacy pretty much done, isn't it? Um, was I influencing Spain by any chance? I can't remember if I was or not. No, I wasn't. Who am I actually influencing? No one, apart from America. Production. Let's have a look at this, because we need to reprioritize, don't we? I see, I think we're good for. So I'm going to actually get rid of all this. Convoys we need. Escorts we need. More units we need. Uh, let's actually get some even more. Because we're going to need some more. Um, and let's have a check on our stuff. We're quite okay, aren't we? we can actually start getting aircraft carriers as well. This will be interesting, won't it? We should be able to start... Hmm, I've got a lot of like. How's our officers doing? Oh shit, our officers are terrible, aren't they? Espionage is gonna go down to 0.25. Officers can stay at like a good three. Three. Um, and so hopefully that'll increase. Obviously, it's gonna take a, a while to catch up, but oh uh, well. We've got plenty of manpower now. Um. So yeah, we're going to continue taking over countries, I think. I'm happy to let this Let's Play go on until like episode 20. Uh, and, then any, any more. and look, we've actually reached France as well, which is nice. And the good thing is now we're going to be able to have quite a lot of shit. I, I swear I put a place in Hommel. Uh, a place, a division in Hommel. Oh yeah, I didn't. Wait, where would the fuck? I swear I had more. No, this isn't right. What the? There's only, there's hardly any people on this. I didn't know that. 8th, 9th, and 16th. Well, we need to assign some more people in then, don't we? The 9th. Can have some more. 16th. We can always get more. I've got plenty of manpower now, so it's fine. And the 8th, wasn't it? 8th, 9th, and 16th. God. How did I manage that? I don't know. Right. We need someone in Danzig, don't we? We need someone in Kolberg. We need someone in Breslau. We need some in Wilna. Hommel. And Minsk. And what are they doing? Why are they there? I don't know what I've done, guys. I don't know how I managed this, but oh well. Um, you can go on the border. You can go there. Why not? And you should be fine. Like that. Are we actually taking this? Oh, wait. The Ottomans have annexed. Oh, wow, look at that. The Ottomans have, like, surrounded them. The French Republic has actually been born. Oh, well. It's fine. Um, we're sending troops up here, so I think that does actually mean that we're about to attack. And I'm going to take control because why not? We're going to attack that. And we're going to lose. Okay. Oh, 
unlock it. We've conquered France. Wow. Well, that didn't take long, did it? Um, okay, third army. What you are going to do is you're going to go and attack them. And then, obviously, these Spanish provinces over there as well, so they need to be dealing with that. You can actually move along there, so... I think once I've taken Norway, I'll end the episode, because it's like 25 minutes already. It goes fast, doesn't it? It does for me, anyway. But I am playing the game, so it's gonna do. Right, now you attack. And... Norway. There we go. Thank you! Look at that! Oh! Good God, we look powerful, don't we? Uh, Finland is our next target, so the first army go back on that, we're going to go on attacking stance, and you are going to get ready to invade Finland. And we'll do that next episode. So thank you for watching everyone, obviously we'll, next episode we'll invade Finland and we'll also invade Spain. Obviously we need to get the third army down here ready to take on their African colonies. And yeah, we'll be even powerful. Obviously, also, we need to get our transport fleet ready to take troops over to Africa. I don't think we can wipe out Portugal without uh, taking out the African provinces. We also need to concentrate on Abyssinia. I don't know how Italy didn't manage to do it very well. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next episode. Goodbye.